One of the new features we have in Adobe Connect 9.2 is the film strip view in the video pod. Previously, we only had the grid view available, which divided up the space in the video pod to accommodate the number of webcam videos being shared. This was, and still is, a great way to see webcam feeds. One of the best things about webcam video in Adobe Connect is that there's really no limit on how many video feeds we can have. Of course, that coin has another side. As the number of videos increases, some attendees with slower internet connections may experience problems with the video feed simply because they don't have enough bandwidth to keep up with the data stream. However, now we have a new option, the film strip view. The host can toggle from grid view to film strip view right here in the top of the video pod. As you can see, the film strip view shows a main video on top and thumbnails of all secondary videos below. The nice thing about this view is that the data transferred for the thumbnail videos is not the full size video data like it would be in the grid view. The thumbnails can have a maximum size of about 177 by 100, or 17,700 pixels in size, no matter how you scale the video pod. So Connect only sends enough data to support that size. By contrast, each video in the grid layout can be up to 853 by 480 pixels. That's 409,440 pixels. That's 23 times as much data that needs to be pushed to the attendee for each video. So by using the film strip view, we're really minimizing the bandwidth requirements for multiple videos. And the more videos being shared, the greater the bandwidth savings. While we're in the film strip view, we can change which video is the main video by simply clicking the set as main video button for that video feed. Another new feature for the video pod is this button for full screen mode. Clicking this will make the video pod fill up the Connect meeting room, or in the case of those who have the Connect add-in installed, the entire computer screen. So you end up with a simple video conference and nothing else on the screen. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay up to date with our Adobe Connect quick tips. And as always, if you need additional help or training with Adobe Connect, don't hesitate to contact us using the info on the screen. <music>